watch all new at five o'clock slowly but surely sports are making a comeback but they will all look very different because of the coronavirus pandemic today heads of south florida teams came together to discuss their return and the recent spike in cases cbs or sports anchor jim barry in the newsroom with what they had to say jim well, Elliot, the Heat, the Marlins, and Inter-Miami CF are all about to walk on a very slippery slope. No one knows if COVID-19 will allow this experiment to get too far, but all three teams are about to give it a shot. Amidst a cloud of pink dust and unbridled enthusiasm, players for Inter-Miami CF get a rousing send-off from Fort Lauderdale. After a three-month shutdown, the expansion MLS team is ready to kickstart its inaugural season again in a World Cup-style soccer tournament in Orlando. We're excited to get into Orlando and just start to compete again. Inter-Miami Sporting Director Paul McDonough says the team feels the bubble environment it's going into in Orlando will be safe. Nevertheless, he says the team will maintain the strict safety protocols it's been on since resuming workouts three weeks ago. We've been testing every other day right now. Um, anything that looks funny, we would shut a guy down. The guys, when they arrive tonight, go into isolation. They'll be tested. They have to stay in isolation until we get the results back. And then they'll be frequently tested. Meanwhile, the Marlins will be back on the diamond at Marlins Park Friday, gearing up for baseball's abbreviated 60-game season that's due to begin in about a month. Our workouts will be staggered, so we'll have smaller groups. Um, but the main thing we'll be doing is, is trying to get them in game mode right away. Unlike other sports, Major League Baseball teams will not be confined to a bubble and will still travel to play teams in other cities. That could make sticking to the rules much tougher when guys get out on the road. The field's going to feel like a bubble. They're going to be tested and everything's going to be there. It's when you get away from that and you get, you know, you're going a little stir crazy. Those are the times that we're going to have to be disciplined for the good of, of everyone. MLB can really uh, see what you're doing outside the ballpark or your manager can do it. It has to be us, the players. The Heat will soon be in their own precarious bubble in Orlando, hoping that COVID-19 does not derail the NBA's effort at resuming the season it shut down in March. There's no experiences that we can uh, look back on it and say, all right, this is the plan. And it's extremely complex. We need to adjust. Everybody needs to adjust. And, you know, it's one of those things that you have to do. All three teams know they will be playing in front of no fans. Still, giving fans something to watch from afar, they say, will be therapeutic. I think it's going to be something that's good for our country. It's good for our fans in South Florida. And who knows? In a short season, the Marlins could get hot. In a bubble with no home court edge, the Heat might find an advantage. And for Enter Miami, the chance to spank a rival next week could be good enough. We can't wait. It's the first game against what's going to be our, our main rival. There's a derby against Orlando. We want to squash them. Those competitive juices already flowing amongst the fans. Now, some athletes in other cities have opted out of returning to action, but so far, no players from local teams have made that choice. Their routines will hardly be the same. They know that, but for the time being, they've decided it's worth it. In the newsroom, I'm Jim Barry, CBS4 Sports. All right, Jim, and now for some football news. We have this just in. The NFL has just announced it is shortening the 2020 preseason schedule due to the coronavirus pandemic. The league has reportedly canceled weeks one and four of its original preseason plan. Most players will now start reporting to training camp on July 28th, with the first preseason game scheduled for the weekend of August 20th and the second scheduled for the weekend of August 27th. Each team will play one home and one away game. There's no word yet on the specific changes for the Miami Dolphins.